EA finally made some good changes to gameplay this year. So we're going to look at five big things that have changed from previous Maddens to this year's game. Number one is going to be containing mobile quarterbacks. Now this has been a problem in Madden for years. Number one, they removed escape artists from being a regular ability, which has helped. But also the defensive line is just a lot smarter this year. Even with a Lamar Jackson, if I try to just mindlessly roll out every play, they will get out there and try to make a play on me. Keep in mind, I'm not even containing the defense right now. This is just a regular four-man rush, but now they're more aware of what I'm doing and they try to stop me. And even if I try to go up the middle, while sometimes a running lane can be there as it should, you can see that it's not easy play to play. They definitely buckle down and shed their blocks to keep me from getting there. Now, every once in a while, you will break containment. That's football, but it doesn't happen every single play. Now, if you actually use contains on the play, it's even better now because they don't even bother worrying about the pass rush. All they worry about is making sure you do not get outside the pocket and even with the guy as fast as Lamar Jackson it's just not there again up the middle sometimes is going to be available to you depending on what the defensive line is doing and that's okay but from play to play you can't just mindlessly roll out every single time number two drift logic for zone defense now we're going to spend a lot of time on this because this is one of the biggest changes in the game and we're going to start with crossing routes a lot of people are saying crossing routes are still broken you could still throw them every play the defense still does not do anything about them and that's just simply not true at all now in defense we're running just a stock cover three no adjustments nothing special and we're going to set our offense up like this now in years past this crossing route would get all the way to the sideline pretty much every time and get underneath the zone because he would drift too far back and it'd be an easy completion. Well, number one, the pass rush is way better this year, right off the bat. So one big key is you don't even have time every single play for this to cross the entire field. But even if you do, you can see the defender's right there. He's not drifting back into nowhere. He's in perfect position to make a pick. And again, with the pass rush being good, you might not even always have the time to make these throws like you could in years past. But even if you do, you can click onto that cornerback, get a pick because he's where he's supposed to be finally. Now we're going to the replay because I already know what people are going to say. I I've been doing this long enough they're gonna stop it right here and say well look Mike Evans is wide open he's right here the defense is still broken look at all of this area around him that's what people do they watch the video and they say look this guy's open right there but this is the reality when you're actually playing the game and not watching a video now yes there are holes in zones that's how zone defense works there's gonna be windows to make throws but if you try to throw this this is what happens it gets picked off this year now it might look wide open for a split second but what you have to realize is once the ball's in the air the defense is actually allowed to move they're not just standing still and letting you catch it so even though he looks open when you throw it this is the reality of it it's still gonna get intercepted now that's not to say that you can't perfectly fit this ball into this window sometimes like right here but that is still a tight throw and you don't want to live like that down to down he could have easily got picked there he could have easily dropped the ball and again right there we try it right on the next play and once again it's intercepted now we're going to continue on with the other important things you need to know in this video but really Really quickly, let's hear a word from today's video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by SeatGeek. Football season is finally back, baby, and that means you could get $20 off your tickets at SeatGeek with promo code RAYWEATHER. Now, if you don't know what SeatGeek is, don't worry, I got you covered. SeatGeek is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple. I've got the app on my phone, and it's by far the easiest way to buy tickets. Whether it's sporting events, festivals, concerts, SeatGeek puts tickets from all over the web in one place and makes buying simple. And the best part about SeatGeek is they let you know if the deal is good or bad. If you see a green dot, that means it's a good deal. Red dot means bad. I've actually been using SeatGeek for a long time. It's where I usually get my Saints tickets. I've also used them for Pelicans games during basketball season as well. And I always come away with a great deal. Now I got you guys with the hookup. Use code RAYWEATHER for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code RAYWEATHER. Make sure to click the link in the description to download the app. Now, even if we go and put the tight end on a streak here, this was another thing that used to work because the outside cornerback would worry about this streak and now he doesn't. And again, there's the pass rush. So even if you could get the guy open from play to play, you're not guaranteed the time to get it off. But if you are, look, the cornerback is still going to be where he's supposed to be because that tight end streak is not his responsibility. It's the safety's responsibility. But in past Maddens, that cornerback would drift to the seam because the tight end streak would somehow confuse him. He no longer longer does that and keep in mind this is a Dory Jackson I believe he's a 79 overall so it's not like we got Jalen Ramsey out here he is an average cornerback and he's staying where he's supposed to now if we put the tight
tight end on the outside like that, we can get him open. But look, once again, there's the pass rush. It's not guaranteed because they're not giving you all day to pass. But if you can buy the time, this will open up the sideline because now the cornerback does have to respect the streak and you do have a tight window where you could fit it in, but you can still make an adjustment to shut this down. You can go to your coaching adjustments by pressing the R3 button. You can go to your zone drops for curl flats and you can drop them to 25 or 30 yards and this will help even in this route combo if you motion the tight end out. Now the curl flat is going to drift further back as well. Now it's going to leave the flats open, but you're going to be able to get back and defend the crosser. So even with a route combo that can open up the crosser, you still have a counter to this. And at the end of the day, that's what football is supposed to be. You're making different adjustments to try to one up each other and get the win. Now let's look at PA crossers, another very popular play that people like to use. So again, this crossing route, while just a little bit different, it's the same thing. It might look open. It's not open this year. Now you might say, well, the X receiver is going to cook his guy on the outside, but it's okay because the safety exists and he's going to get there to intercept the ball. Again, these things might look open if you freeze the video, but when you actually throw it in a game, it's not open. Now, maybe we could hit Y, but again, every play is not guaranteed with the pass rush this year, but we might be able to fit this in. We actually can fit it in and that's okay. There's going to be holes in zone, but if you play this game even a little bit seriously, you're probably usering somebody on defense to help out. And that would be the route you would want to take. You would drift back with Y, take him, and the other deep zones will take the other deep routes. And if you're worried about the tight end getting wide open underneath, well, then you could just shade your defense down. Down. Simple adjustments to stop the tight end and then the deep zones and your user take care of everything else. Now, if you try to throw to the tight end, shading the defense will get him covered up and you'll get a pick. Same applies to corner routes. This popular flood concept has worked for years with the corner getting underneath the cover three zone on the outside. Not anymore because he stays where he's supposed to. You can click on and make the play. Here's another version of this out of a different bunch set. Again, you can see that the cornerback is where he's supposed to be. He's not letting the guy get underneath him because he's no longer drifting back into nowhere and we're going to go in real time to the menu here so you could see we're on all pro we're not even on all Madden. we're on standard online settings we can go into the sliders here every slider is still on 50 it's all default just because i know there's always a person or two out there that might try to suggest the difficulty or the sliders nope this is all standard and the defense is playing well number three popular one play touchdowns pa boot over out of bunch tight end this is one of the most famous one play touchdowns mainly against a cover three and this is how you would set it up last year now by blocking the tight end that's going to help us roll out a little bit but even with that you could see the pass rush is going to not let us really be able to just stop set our feet and throw but the defenders are back there and defending it as they're supposed to even though we've got an extra guy blocking the pass rush is still on us even if we try to stand just tall in the pocket with the pass rush this year it's very rarely going to allow you time for that deep post to get wide open and then if you just simply QB contain even with the tight end blocking you're not getting outside the pocket to make this throw but even if you can get outside the pocket this year the defense is going to play this a lot better and not allow him to just run wide open now I do think they could even make this play a little bit better than it does this is definitely not perfect but it's good enough to get the stop number four man defense they improved man defense too and this year the man defense is going to win a lot of the time sometimes the receiver is going to win as well that's just how it works when you're man to man but let's look at the crossing route something that some people are saying is still overpowered and can't be stopped we've got t higgins here a good receiver and he's being locked up by a cornerback that doesn't have crazy high ratings i don't even think the cornerback is rated as good as t higgins is and you see we've got pass rush as well which is also making it tough now right here we see against a two-man under tyler boyd does beat his man but the safety is there to make the play so even in a two-man under situation the safeties are making plays here's a cover one again the safety almost makes a play on that as well but we are beating the man because we have tyler boyd who's a good receiver but then right here he's not beating him he's getting locked down by the corner so sometimes the receiver wins and sometimes the corner wins and you can't get any more fair than that and see here if we throw it again he's bagged once again you can't really get more fair than that in this game and we're not even clicking on yet if we actually click on to this then we can actually get a pick the cpu is not usually going to go for the pick you need to usually click on yourself to make it happen but if you do you're going to be in good shape here are slant routes you can see both of the slant routes are pretty locked up right right there usually slants dominate man right here they're playing good again but we get a pick and that's fine that's a real life concept you're trying to run a pick to get a guy free but you'll see that both of them were covered very well until the pick happened which in the past was not the case man defense actually does play really solid this year number five hard flat 
flats. Now, for some reason, hard flats have just never been consistent in Madden. They would drift too far back or drift too far to the inside, but this year, they actually stay where they're supposed to. So if you throw it into the flat area, they're going to break the pass up or they're going to make a quick tackle or they jump it like this for a pick six. And this is Christian Fulton, 77 overall, average cornerback. You don't need Jalen Ramsey out there to make this play. Again, when you shade your defense down and put hard flats on the field, they're going to be there to make a play. They're not going to let you get those easy three, four, or five yards in the flat. Now, yes, that's going to open up stuff behind them like this. If you shade your defense down, you're going to leave the stuff open behind the cornerback, but that's the cat and mouse game. You have to understand where the weaknesses are, but if they mindlessly try to throw it into the hard flat every play and you're prepared, you're going to stop them now. Now, if you want to know about some more big changes that are coming very soon to Madden 23, make sure to check out this video right here on the screen.